Hi everyone, welcome back to Easy Fun Fast. We're all excited and waiting for iOS 18 at WWDC in just a few days, but Apple's actually been hard at work on the next generation of iPhone. Uh, production has already started on the displays, according to recent leaks. Today, let's take a look at everything expected in the upcoming iPhones and then revisit them once it's announced to see what Apple actually updates and has to offer. WWDC 2024 will be a software only event, so don't expect any iPhones. You can watch it on June 10th on apple.com. Originally, some rumors suggested we could see a new Apple TV, but don't expect any iPhones as those typically release later in the year. We'll talk about when to expect that later in the video. First, let's talk about the iPhone 16 price. So far, there will not be any price increases as far as we're hearing. However, if Apple decides to give it a two terabyte option, or updates the components significantly, we could see a slight increase. Now let's move on to color options. The new Pro models are expected to get rid of the blue color in favor of a rose gold or rose titanium color. Colors are not always accurate, but we do expect a new color for the Pro models with a matte finish. The dimensions of the 16 Pro are expected to be similar to the 15 Pro, but slightly wider to accommodate a larger 6.3 inch display with thinner bezels. The Pro Max model will also see a slight increase in size and weight. We're still expecting a dynamic island and not many changes to the overall design. When it comes to the display, we could see upgrades with higher sustained brightness, more power efficiency using microlens OLED technology, and the new tandem OLED in the newer models. MagSafe is said to get some changes with a thinner magnet ring to make space for other components, but the strength should remain the same. In terms of design, we expect some changes like a new capture button that might allow for zooming in and out or additional programmable functions. Non-Pro models might have a vertical camera layout for better spatial photos and videos. The cameras are also said to get an update. Uh, with a new coating to reduce lens flare and a 48 megapixel ultra wide camera on the Pro models. Additionally, the Pro and Pro Max models are expected to get a larger 5x Tetra Prism zoom lens. We're supposed to get a mic upgrade for better voice input for Siri and AI related features. The new CPU, likely the A18 Pro chip, should bring neural engine updates, AI on device improvements, Wi Fi 7, and better thermal management. Many of us uh, want better battery life, and the new models might offer faster charging and better heat management with stacked battery technology. Overall, these updates are iterative, but exciting. As for the release date, based on past patterns, we can expect mid to late September. If you're wondering whether to buy an iPhone 15 now or wait for the 16, consider the upcoming features. If you want the latest and greatest, waiting might be worth it. I'll be unboxing the new models as soon as they're available, so stay tuned. Let me know if you're planning to pick up an iPhone 16 this year and what you think about the new models. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video so we can keep bringing you more amazing content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. And